journey, we took a farm tour of Gaia Herbs in North Carolina, where we met with the farm crew leader, Abby Dillon, she took us on a wonderful tour of the farm. We got to check out the ginkgo biloba trees and the hawthorn. We went down and saw the plots where they were doing new plantings and harvesting. Got to check out some echinacea and we also got to check out their greenhouses, drying facility, and met some of the crew. We got to try some of their veggies from their veggie project where a chef comes in and cooks lunch for the employees and they also get to take some of the produce home. We learned a lot about their processes and their regeneration certification and also about their beautiful herbs that they grow. So we had a really good time and we thank you very much, Gaia Herbs. Um, wow. Sweet Annie, or wor it's a type of wormwood um, that you can smell. Nice, strong, smelling. This is the first time they've harvested the aerial part since I've been here, but. Yeah, it looks like they just kind of take the yeah. Yeah, I was gonna say the tops off it's hand harvest. It looks like yeah. Yeah, so um, so that would just have to be a hand harvest. For cultivating, which is basically just killing weeds like it when they're really really small. So um, so yeah, they still do so much worse if we weren't able to. only wants like the top six inches like they just want the flowers really even though the, the whole plant mm, is medicinal yeah. like a lot of people right. like when I worked at um I went to the University of Georgia and we had a little herb garden we harvested it like all the way down to the bottom practically On this farm, it seems to happen where like everything becomes harvestable all at once. And... 